Hi, I'm Steve Rogers, aka Captain America. I just want to come out and address some of the rumors that have been spreading about me. I was not born in Canada. When I got defrosted out of that block of ice, I was somewhat Canada adjacent. I was born in New York City. I punched Hitler in the face while wearing the red, white, and blue USA. I'm as American as they get. Hi, I'm Amy Chu. And I'm Shomon Gorman. We're at booth 1013 with our comics. You should come down. You're watching Atlas Comics. Poison Ivy gets her own series this week in Poison Ivy, The Circle of Life and Death, number one, by our friend Amy Chu. Also, Harley Quinn's in it. So Lucifer's coming out on Monday, and we've got Lucifer number two. This is by Holly Black, who did a bunch of cool kids' fantasy books. It is in line with the original comic. It's not so in line with the show. But if you like the show, you'll probably like this. I actually recommend it. Everyone loves Adventure Time, and everybody loves the Ice King. So everyone's going to love Adventure Time Ice King, number one. Captain Marvel's back in Captain Marvel, number one. She's off to some wacky space-time adventures featuring all your Marvel spacey heroes. If you want to check her out, this is going to be the best jumping on point you're going to get. And, 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 and if we're doing that, we should talk about us. Uh... We've got a whole bunch of $1 Deadpool books yet again this week. We've got the Wedding of Deadpool, Meaty Deadpool, and Groovy Deadpool. And Groovy Deadpool has Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Iron Fist is what I do today. It's prolific. If you waited five years to read Deadpool issues until they only came in a $1 format, would you be the opposite of a true believer? Yes. Wouldn't you be like the least common Marvel fan denominator ever? If you still haven't read the female Thor, I call her She Thor then check out Thor, Goddess of Thunder, Volume 1. It is some of the best Thor out there, and if you're all upset that you don't get Guy Thor, I would call him He Thor, he's in this too. Why is He Thor? <laughs> he because, because he rode his bike too long. <laughs> it was a super awesome deep indie series, and we didn't get all the issues because they sold out too fast, but Squariers is out, in paperback this week. It's Squirrel Warriors, and this book is brutal. It's really awesome. I know what you're thinking. Star Wars Episode 7 was great, but it was missing one thing. What was it? Lando. Well, you can get your Lando fix in Star Wars Lando by Charles Soule. He better be in the next Star Wars movie, even though it's only going to be at the Everyone close your ears if you haven't seen it. Oh, no. The funeral. Check out Nerd Haiku Review. I'll review, uh, oh, my favorite show is back, Peggy Carter. I'll also review the end of Heroes when that happens. And please follow me on Twitter, at Nerd Haiku Review. I'm sure it's right here. And I need followers, please. Guest review coming next week. Oh, that's right. I don't want to tell you how to do your job. Should you start perhaps with a shot of him in the background with that sign and then like zoom out into me?